All right, let's take a look at our second example problem from chapter 3. The PVT behavior of a certain gas is described by the equation P times V minus B is equal to R times T, where B is a constant. Calculate the work done by this gas when it expands reversibly under constant temperature from initial volume VA to final volume VB. Uh, so our notes is... <clears throat> the two notes is remember that that equation is just another form of the truncated virial equation, where B uh, would be my second virial coefficient, and our virial, virial coefficient is only a function of T. So since T is constant, B is also constant. Okay, and we're told that you know what we're shooting for here is a, a general expression for um, reversible expansion of a fluid described by this equation of state. Okay. All right, so we have our equation of state P times V minus B. Ah, P times V minus B is equal to RT. Okay, so T is constant. And we're going from VA to VB. And we're dealing with reversible expansion. I guess it could be, you know, reversible work, right? It could be, um, you know, compression as well and, and would all be the same. All right. So the key is going to be, all right, so if I'm trying to calculate the reversible work, my reversible work is going to be given by the integral of negative P dV, where I'm going to integrate from my initial to my final state. It's important here to remember that this is negative P, all right, because of our sign convention. If my system's doing work on the surroundings, okay, that's negative. If my system does work on the system, okay, that's positive. So work done by my system's negative, work done on my system's positive. So if my system's expanding, the volume's increasing, dV is going to be positive. So I need to ha make sure I have that negative sign there to make sure I get my sign convention right. So I'm going to rewrite this as negative integral from A to B, P, dV. Now, in the first problem, uh, pressure was constant. We were dealing with the piston cylinder. Okay, so pressure was constant throughout the process. So there, we were just able to bring P out of here, and we just had the integral of dV, which is, you know, integral of dV is just the you know, delta V. Here, though, we're not told that we have a piston cylinder. Okay. We're just told that we have reversible expansion. There's no mention of a piston cylinder, so we have no, you know, we're not told that pressure is being held constant. So in order to evaluate this integral, I need to know how pressure changes with respect to volume. So in order to evaluate this, I need to know how pressure changes with respect to volume. That's where our equation of state comes in. So from my truncated virial equation, so if I solve for P, P is equal to RT divided by V minus B, okay, where B and T are both constants. So I'm going to take this expression for P and I'm going to plug it in there. So I get W is equal to the negative integral from A to B, okay, and that's my initial and final state. Don't you know, confuse B with my second virial coefficient. Then up here I have RT divided by V minus B, and that's dV. All right, so R and T are constant. Okay, so that's going to be equal to negative RT times the integral of 1 over V minus B dV. Okay. And I'm integrating from A to B. All right, so that should be, then W should be equal to negative RT. Okay, and then, so remember the integral of uh, 1 over x dx, right, is log x. Right, so this should be equal to log um, absolute value of, so I already have my negative sign there, V of my final state, VB minus B divided by 
V, volume say A, minus B. Okay. And that should be it. Okay, so my reversible work for, so my isothermal reversible work of expansion for a fluid described by that sankin virl equation uh, is given as such. All right, hope that helps. We'll see you in problem three.